Welcome to Therapy Tips with me, Chad G, Ortho OT. I hope you enjoy the video. If you're thinking about having a knee replacement, here are a few things that you might want to go ahead and consider ahead of time. You're going to want to make sure that you've got a good place to sleep. Most likely a recliner or a chair. You may not be able to sleep in the bed just because of elevating the knee and just comfort in general. You're going to get up and walk day one of your surgery. So typically you're going to have surgery before you go home. You're up and walking using a walker to go ahead and put some weight through there and start some movement through the knee. You're going to go home and typically within 24 to 48 hours you're going to start therapy. Now this could be home health therapy or this could be outpatient therapy or maybe if you go inpatient somewhere you're going to start therapy right away. And so one of the things that I tell my patients is we got to make sure of a few things. One, do not prop a pillow up behind the knee unless directed by your doctor. Keeping the knee bent in this position is a bad idea. It's going to cause the muscles and the tissue on the back side of the knee to tighten and then getting the knee to go back down flat is going to be very difficult. And so what we want to do is, is to kind of let the knee float like that. Just kind of suspension hang so that gravity is just kind of pulling down to try to get that flat. Because as far as range of motion goes, we want to make sure that each knee or this knee, the affected knee, surgical knee, matches a non-surgical knee. So for instance, if this knee has, say, 10 degrees of hyperextension, we want this knee to also have as close to hyperextension as we can get. So just because a lot of people want to get to zero or flat, if the other side has a little bit of hyperextension, I like to try to get it to match as much as possible. As far as bending, you're going to want to get this. Ideally, we're getting close to 120 degrees right there for flexion. 120 degrees is needed to be able to go up and down typical steps and stairs, go up onto curbs, up incline grades, perform transferring, you know, from maybe the toilet or in and out of the car. And so anything greater than 120 degrees is really just icing on the cake. The other thing that you're going to want to be aware of is you're going to have swelling, a lot of swelling initially, and that swelling is going to fluctuate. So don't be alarmed if you have some swelling that comes up because the more that you exercise, the more that you walk, the more that you do, you may have this swelling come on. So it may just go up and down. So you just want to manage that, let your therapist or your doctor know if you have any concerns with that, but it is going to be normal to have that periodically. The other thing that you're going to also see or notice is you may have some clicking or a little popping or different things that may occur. It may not happen right away, but it may happen over time. Again, this is in most cases normal, just everything kind of adjusting and kind of settling in. But again, you always want to you know, give any concerns to your doctor or your therapist. It is also not uncommon down the outside here for this iliotibial band uh, to have some tightness, so to speak. Really, it's the muscles in the outside of the hip here that become tight, and that's going to pull on the IT band and its attachment down here. So you may notice that you start to have you know, some pain or discomfort on the outside of the knee that radiates up to the hip. So that's something that the therapist should be able to address and get that to relax and, and, uh, and kind of calm down. So that's again, that's pretty normal. You want to make sure that you check for blood clots throughout the calf behind the knee and so you want to make sure to monitor for that you know both at home and then your therapist and physician is also going to check for that you know kind of as you go and so the main thing to remember is is to make sure that you are performing your exercises not just at your therapy visits but at home every day throughout the day walking as much as you can safely with whatever adaptive equipment that they give you walkers canes etc because you want to make sure that you have as much movement going as you can. And you may have periods during the week where you have setbacks, where sometimes you have more range of motion, sometimes you have less range of motion. That's okay as long as you're making this climb towards the progression of increasing your range of motion, increasing your quad and your hamstring strength uh, to be able to be functional with your mobility. I hope this video helps. Just make sure that you're monitoring for all these things as far as your range of motion, things not to do, putting that pillow behind the knee, Make sure you check for your blood clots, which aren't super, super common, but can happen. And then also uh, make sure that you're moving it as much as you can to get back to your functional mobility. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure that you like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of our current content. Thanks so much.